All right, all right, all right. Good afternoon, my friends. Another gorgeous day in Kauai. And uh, I'm gonna share with you what I'm doing over here for compost. My buddy Dan Oskopinski has been asking me, dude, how do you make soil? Uh, all right, dude, I'll show you how to make compost. And uh, so this is my, my zone one little pallet garden over here, right? And we used to have our, well, we still do. We still have some compost bins way down there in the bottom of the property, but I was getting tired of taking them down there every day because compost builds up quick. That's just part of it. And the more you compost, the less you throw away and the more soil you build. So what I did is uh, I started a compost pile close because that's what you kind of want. You want it close enough that you can get to it easy, but far enough that it doesn't stink. So here's my compost pile right here, or at least one of them. So as you can see, it has some grass clippings, there's some coconuts hanging out down there, a lot of eggshells. I threw some soil on it because it was getting just kind of a, just a lot of, um, you know, like scraps, like, you know. So I threw some organic matter on there to kind of calm it down. And then this is a, a pile of finished compost that I bought from uh, Molawa'a. And that's what hopefully compost looks like after a long, a long period of time. But, um, but this is what we're starting with over here on this side. So this is one of my compost piles, and pretty much all you gotta do is just pile up all kinds of organic matter. Food scraps, yard waste, leaves, mulch, debris, you know, little dead animals, whatever you can get your hands on. And nature will take care of the rest. Just kind of pile them up on top of each other. Stack them in layers of um, things that are high in carbon, which is, would be your, your dead leafy greens and the stuff like that. And then your stuff that would be nitrogen would be uh, more like the poops and fertilizers and um, stuff like that. So I've, I've been using a lot of goat poop and chicken poop, rabbit poop. I got a lot of rabbit poop going down. So this is what's over here. My uh, little sunflower right here. Can you see? It's starting to drop, but it looks like a mess. But I've noticed it's been attracting a whole bunch of ladybugs, so that's kind of cool. So yeah, I'll show you my other compost piles right now. But before we go down, to zone three and check out that compost pile. I forgot to show you. We got a little worm bin over here that I started. We got the triple stack, and that's a beehive right there. There's no bees occupying it right now, but what I've heard is they were here before I got here, and then they left. So this is my worm bin, and before, so right now this is my priority. Before I start composting stuff, I throw all my scraps in here, and uh, the worms will eat it, and that's way more valuable to me then turn it into compost because when the worms worms eat it they turn it into a premium product because uh you know i'm having worms breed in there and they're making awesome soil and then they're also dripping worm juices right here which is my avocado tree so my cados are getting fed by these worms so that's an awesome system and all you got to do is get these containers stack them up put some holes in them so this bottom one doesn't have any holes in it except one hole right here okay and uh, what I should be doing is collecting that worm juice and using it to make compost tea but I'm just letting it ride right now because it's not that big of a deal for me so these ones have a lot of holes in it so they could breathe and there's holes on the bottom so the worms can go up and down and uh, so I have like regular decent compost in there, got a lot of rabbit poop in here, and just uh, scraps, pretty much kitchen scraps. And I have a pretty good collection of worms in there. Um, I think they're kind of in the middle ones, so I'm not going to dig around in there because it's kind of funky right now. <laughs> alright, alright, so these are my compost piles over here. And I just uh, pulled off all this cardboard because I use the cardboard as a barrier to keep my chickens out of it because once my chickens find this this mulch, not this mulch, this compost, they get in here and they make a mess because they know this is where all the goodies are at. So this compost is uh, comprised of, of uh, mulch. That used to be a really big pile of mulch, um, probably about knee high, and it's all that, and that is um, howl tree. <clears throat> and all this that you see used to be covered in that. So before I got here, they pulled a lot of that out and they mulched it down and they made a big compost pile well they made a big mulch pile of fine mulch over there and then we have a pile of really dense mulch over there you see that mountain right there that mountain is mulch 
So I've been, I've pretty much used up all the, the fine mulch for bedding for the chickens and to compost it down. So this is mulch, leaves, a lot of rabbit poop, grasses. Um, this is also some soil from the river because it has a lot of microbes in it and uh, life. And uh, so here, let me pull this open and see, see what's going on. And all you got to do is pretty much just stack up organic matter and uh, you know compost happens man it happens on its own if it's too stinky and it's like funky then that sounds like you need more uh, organic matter and you have too much like poo and stuff and too much moisture but this right here is not looking bad this is pretty good this is actually really good it's coming along nicely and I used to have tons and tons of worms in here I don't see as much as I did before but you see that those are termites there's some worms, the termites, look at that. Now they're all over my hands. But yeah, so this is, uh, this is the compost that I'm making right now. And in the meantime, as this breaks down, I'm buying truckloads of it because, uh, because it takes a long time. This used to be three really big compost piles, and now they're two little compost piles. And I have been taking a few buckets out here and there and using them in the, um, in the gardens, but that's what compost does. What I hear is you get 1 20th amount out as you put in. So if you make a massive pile of debris, it's going to break down to 1 20th the size. And this right here, these are some tomatoes, and I think some tomatillos that are just kind of popping up out of the compost pile. And I usually get like a lot of passion fruit seedlings that start and pop out of here, but now since I've been covering it, it hasn't been having so much. But yeah, what you do is you pretty much just like, you know, stack organic matter to get together and nature will do the rest. And then uh, when it comes time to use, you sift it out. You sift out all the big stuff and you use the nice, fine, broken down stuff. But yeah, you should like turn it like every, uh, you know, once a week is actually a really good uh, time wise. And yeah, this is just what nature does on its own. We just gotta uh, start utilizing it more because that's growing soil, man. And if you can grow soil, you could pretty much grow anything and uh, that's where we're headed right now so yeah use uh, use nature to your advantage so yep this is my compost pile nothing super amazingly awesome but you know we gotta do a few at a time because man that stuff goes it's like gold once it gets down to that to that uh, consistency alright guys thank you peace so this is the inside of the other compost pile that I just kinda flipped over I'm not sure if you could see but it's alive! It's alive, alive, alive. Look at this. These are worms. A lot of them. And this is hay that, uh, what was I using this hay for? I think this was like bedding for some of my young chickens. So it's full of poo, which translates into nitrogen. And these worms are pretty excited about living in it. These are compost worms with a little tiny red wigglers and uh, they breed like crazy what I've been seeing so um, yeah this is part of it man this is the beautiful and ugly part of nature death consumption and rebirth but these worms right here are extremely important to me I think we're gonna have a very good relationship in the future